up, everybody? So right now, what I want to do is take you through and show you how and what I did with this concept that I came up with in Machine a couple of what, weeks ago. Um, I want to do this for several reasons. The first reason is to just show myself, first and foremost, my progress. Uh, to show you guys my progress and you know just to document my overall journey as it relates to music and pr you know production and you know doing anything as it relates to music um, and the third thing is just to hopefully help somebody motivate somebody to come up with um, something better you know what I mean something that is better if this is not something that if you guys don't think that this is good or something like that because I just put it all together this may be right or maybe wrong in your eyes, but I just want to inspire somebody to just do better, you know, or go forth and just be motivated to keep on going. Um, if you're a male or a female or whatever, if you're thinking about giving up, if you think that you can't get it, just, you know, I want to inspire somebody to just keep going. So I'm going to take you through number one. The first step is I'm going to show you how um, I took this little scene right here. I tracked it out. Okay. And after I show you that, I'm going to show you where the stems are. And then after I show you that, I'm going to just quickly take you over to Pro Tools and show you how I arranged it, what it sounds like in a four to eight bar loop. Actually, it's going to be an eight bar loop. And then I'm going to have a disclaimer and then I'm going to go. So I hope this helps somebody. Just know that this is it's not by any means perfect. And um, it's just my way of doing things right now because this is my first time ever doing this. So. Um, I after I made this concept and I sent it to my uh, friends and they were like, oh, we like it and we're going to rap to it and da, 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 this will be part of our mixtape. I was like, okay. It was like, well, make the track. And I'm like, okay. So um, I tried to arrange it to the best of my ability, but could not. And I decided that I wanted to try a different method. I would always try to do everything inside a machine. Just, I got to do it in machine. Nothing is better than machine. It's just machine, 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 right? And then I figured out that I was, for me, I'm not completely, it wasn't completely wrong, but I found that this way for me is better. So what I did was first and foremost, for me, I have to name all of my groups, okay? It just has to be that way. I have to know what is what, and um, it has to be organized the way that I want it. You don't have to do it this way, but if you're going to export it with one of the options that I'm going to show you while we're tracking out, then you're probably gonna need to, you're probably, gonna need to name your groups and unless you're gonna know them by memory or by ear um the second thing i did was um i grouped all the sounds that i'm going to be tracking out inside of a scene okay um that's basically in this case all the all the things that i have in the scene all the the patterns that i have in the scene are going to be everything that i'm going to be tracking out okay then um we just go to file and then we go to export And then you get this box. Now, by, de by default, I don't know what the default option is. It may be one of the two, of the, the other two options. Um, but when I say that I feel that it's important for you to name your um, groups, it's because of this option. This option will take each group and just export that particular pattern in that scene out as a WAV file, just like the master will you know, import that whole scene as one WAV file. It does the same thing for groups. So unless you're gonna, you know, know your group by ear, then I suggest that you 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 name it. That's why I say that. But for me, I just do it automatically because it's just my thing. Okay. So in order for me to be able to track each individual sound out that I have in these particular patterns in this scene, I must select the sound outputs. The other two options will not work for this. Well, not in the way that, that it is intended to. Okay, so um, what you're gonna do after that is, um, if you have extra sounds inside of your group that you are not using, you can take this time to just check off the sounds, if you know them, if you, you, know, if you know which sounds you're not using um, like that, then um, you can check them off so that they won't come out in your folder. Because if they come out in your folder, they won't have any sounds because you're not using them. Like that. Yeah. So after that, after you've done all that, or you can just delete the sounds in the group. 
unless you're going to be using them in the in a at a later date or something to build on the concept that you've already had so after you do that you want to find a folder a destination folder and i've already done that it's going to be concept one and then we're going to export and my head hurts Okay, so after you have exported that, you want to close this out. And I'm just going to quickly go to the folder in which I have all the stems. Okay, so this is what I mean by um, um, number one. This is what I mean by getting rid of all the extra sounds because you'll have extra sounds that you don't need. I only need like maybe seven or eight sounds out of this whole thing. Uh, number two is because the reason why I say name your groups is because um, if you don't, it'll just have some random number. That's another reason why you should do it. Um, because I know exactly what I want and what I'm looking for, and I've already done this. This is just an example folder for you guys to just uh, see how I do it. I already have my stems over here. And I already named them and stuff like that, so... Um, if you want to take, you know, if you have this issue and you don't know what's what because you failed to name it or anything like that, what you can do is if you're on a Mac, you can just, um, either something's going to pop up here in a second, click that, or you can just listen to it, go through each one and listen to it. And then you can just name it. And after you that do that, or after I have done that, what I did was I imported them into Pro Tools 10. And then I went forth and I tried to arrange it. Keep in mind that this is my first time doing this. I've never done this prior. And as first stated, um, if I hadn't said so earlier, I've only done this to, I've only used Pro Tools as um, a means of making audio covers, you know, like covers of songs, instrumentals. I would import an instrumental and um, I would try to do a cover to it. That was the only way I would use Pro Tools until now. I find that this is the best way right now for me by far to arrange. Most people like Logic. I have nothing against you, Logic people. <laughs> but me and Logic, we, we just don't, we just don't, we just don't, mm -mm, we don't. So after all that, this is what I've come up with. Uh, pay no mind to this over here. This is like my little verse that I started doing. I will not play it because you don't need to hear that. But all this up here is uh, the stems that I've imported. The original stems are over here, and these are just copy, copies and duplicates over here. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this looks like, trust me, I was scared too. And um, I've muted out some stuff. I learned how to cut stuff and mute stuff. And I just duplicated some stuff. I used some effects. Well, I used one effect. I used the tape stop effects on some parts you'll hear it in this four bar loop that i'm about to play for you and yeah so again as a disclaimer if you find that these things are not helpful to you if you think that i can improve in some way or shape or form um please let me know but do so in love um, other than that all comments questions and concerns are welcome um my end result for this is to be consistent in my my video making in my music production my idea conceptions and things like that and to just hopefully you know create a mixtape either by myself or with my friends and just share my gift you know with the world or share you know my voice with the world and whatnot so um if you want to collab or you have some ideas or you want um i can't give you the session but if you have some ideas on it just let me know um so without further ado here we go
so that's that. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if I'm going to go now before I talk myself into hoarseness. <clears throat> and I love you like Christ of the church no more no less. I look forward to talking with you guys on YouTube and on Facebook. I will be coming out with a like page, so um, I'll put it in the description box below. I'll probably make that sometime today just to keep in touch with you guys um, in a better way. So you guys be blessed, take care, and I will talk to you all later.